Minnesota's largest anti-smoking advocacy groups today denounced a tobacco tax break that lawmakers passed on the last day of the session. Now, those groups are pressuring Governor Mark Dayton to veto the entire tax bill. Pat Kessler reports. Lawmakers repealed the annual automatic tax hike on cigarettes, and anti-smoking groups call it a major shift in state policy. What's important for the health of Minnesota, and especially Minnesota's kids, are keeping tobacco prices high. And what an inflator does, too, is to keep the price high with inflation over future, uh, over future years. Repealing the automatic cigarette tax hike will cost the state $26 million in taxes over the next three years. Lawmakers also cut $6.2 million in taxes on e-cigarettes. The tax breaks were passed on Sunday by Republicans and Democrats alike, buried in a tax bill containing hundreds of other items. Even Governor Dayton says it was a surprise. Well, I, I don't know where it came from. I don't know who was behind it. But it's just uh, it's very, very... No, just distressing. Republican leaders say it's bad public policy to automatically raise anyone's taxes. And they strongly deny the cigarette tax break is a tax break at all. We didn't reduce the tax or give a tax cut or a tax break to anyone. We simply removed the inflator that would that would automatically increase the tax over time. It's horrible policy. Clearway, Minnesota represents a coalition of health groups who say studies show that lowering the tobacco tax means more smokers, especially children. And we know that keeping tobacco prices is good public policy because it keeps kids from a lifetime of addiction and death and disease from smoking. Well, a spokesman for Governor Dayton told us this afternoon the governor will spend the next few days reviewing all of the provisions in the tax bill before deciding whether to sign it. But they indicated again today that he's upset this is in there. Oh, well, Pat, I'm so eager to ask you because you've covered it and know it so well. I mean, yeah. how do you sneak something in there at the last day that the governor doesn't even see? Yeah, funny how that happens. It happens all the time, I think, in the last days of a session where there's a lot of pressure to finish. There's a lot of negotiating going on behind closed doors especially this year. A lot of stuff was happening behind closed doors that we don't know about. People trading different items in the bills. And this went to the House floor, and a lot of people kind of knew it was there. Some people did not know wow. it was there. But nobody was completely informed when they voted on it. And just to be clear, the really high cigarette tobacco tax we have stays. It just doesn't go higher. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good point. 2013, Minnesota raised the tobacco tax a buck sixty a pack. What they also did, though, was make sure that went up every year after that automatically. And that's what's going away. Got it. All right. Pat, thank you. You bet.